Hello my soccer nerds for another unpacking video. It's quite a sizable parcel here uh, that came all the way from England from my buddy Andy who is actually a Scot but you know uh, <laughs> he lives in England. So uh, the story behind this parcel actually is again another long one and with me and him it's usually long stories. Remember the story where he sent me a, a Scotland jer uh, jersey that got stuck in, in the mail. This time around it was that I had a few jerseys uh, for him and we usually I keep them here in my office before I send them out to him when he tells me it's time and he kind of said yeah it's time and I actually have something to send for you and I said you know I actually would like to restore two jerseys of mine as well do you think we can do that yeah and next question do you want to have anything from England I said yeah I really would like to have a Brighton jersey which we couldn't really find uh, I'd like to have another Spurs jersey and then, you know, uh, any of these smaller London clubs. And I think he found me a Fulham shirt as far as I know. And then he decided by the end of October, sorry, my nose is a little bit tickling me, uh, to send them over the restorations. Unfortunately, it took a little bit longer. Now, he wrote to me that the parcel is on, 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 on the way. This all happened while I was in Venice. Um, it was not intended necessary for my birthday, but it actually works out nicely. It is a birthday present, if you would like. Because there, the um, customs declaration says that there are three shirts in there. I can't recall only two, but maybe I'm forgetting one. There are three figurines in there, and there's one magazine in there. So... What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open this parcel and I'm probably gonna do this in three parts. I will do first uh, the stuff that I don't remember and then I will do the Spurs and the Fulham shirt at a later point uh, in a different video because otherwise it gets a little bit too long. I'm really excited about this. Whatever Andy is sending me here, it must, it, I'm sure I will like it. And I'm so, so, I'm again so surprised because this is a real surprise to me. So thank you, Andy, for taking the ini initiative. And I'm really looking forward to those restorations. And hey, I'm sure there will be other shirts that we can exchange in a way. So let me get this bad boy open before I do that. Also, please, if you're on Instagram, check out Andy. He has a really cool page with many nice shirts. He's an Everton collector. I have this Everton away jersey thanks to him. That's why I decided to wear it. Okay, there is, if I take the green bag away, there is also a white bag. And Queen of the South, that's pretty cool because I know this is his team from Scotland. So let's see what will be in there further. <laughs> Actually, I really want to show you the Queen of the South. It's a really, 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 really nice bag, I gotta say. Really like that, that one. Is there a Queen of the South shirt in there? Let's see. Okay. First things out of the bag are three figurines <laughs> and they're all Milan players. It's pretty cool. Uh, have, we have here, this I think gotta be Shevchenko I would say. Oh no, this is Bierhoff. Yeah. Blonde Oliver Bierhoff. The first German that I really really liked because he got us the championship in 999 which is still my most cherished Milan championship. Then we have I think this gotta be Demetrio Albertini. Yes, or it says Demetrio Albertini. Right here in a classic Milan jersey as well. And then, yes, we have Andriy Shevchenko as well. So uh, together with the Maldini figurine that I have around there, I have now also Andriy Shevchenko, Oliver Bierhoff and Demetri Albertini from probably, it was not a great period, but that 998-99 champ championship is a very, very special one to me. So I have to really find a nice way to put these uh, fi 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 figurines up because it's really cool. But let's dig a little bit deeper. Um, I see there is a card and it says, Hey Roland, turn to the center pages of the magazine. Make sure you opt in. There's also a QR code that one can do. So there is a magazine in there. Calcio Italia. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I gotta say. I gotta say. And let's see the center pages of the magazine. Oh yes. Oh yes. Paolo Maldini in his last ever home game for Milan. The one that ended a little bit. But I have this shirt. 
I have this shirt. I'm pretty cool. Thanks so much. This is absolutely amazing. I saw already there are a few other players in there. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking by having uh, Luis Figo on the other side in Inter shirt. But you know, I like Luis Figo except for this little period. But the center page is, of course, my favorite ever player. So thank you so much, Andy. That's pretty cool. I also have to say the 08 09 season. Yes, this was. Um, uh, the season I think Inter won of course the, cha uh, the championship but I do remember watching that one uh, quite a bit as well you know with a classic Kappa shirt here with Totti uh, a young Chiellini and of course Balotelli on the uh, top that was already real fun I'm really cool and this is something I have to <laughs> I will go through with this is a season that's long time time ago but let's look at the shirts that are that are in here as far as I can see, there are a total of three shirts and I don't remember. The white one I do remember, the other one I do remember, I don't remember about the blue one. Now I would assume this is a Queen of the South shirt, but let's see about that. Yes, it is Queen of the South. That's pretty cool. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. Here you go. It's my only third ever Scott, Scottish uh, team that I have in my collection. Uh, it's Macron. I have to say this is really cool. That there's a very subtle wavy effect in there. We have the Queen of the South logo. And what I, I really find this nice is that there is an old team in there. Well, uh, Andy, you may want to add uh, inform me. I think this is probably a very historic picture, but that's a really, really nice touch. The team was for, found in 1919. MKM here on the back. That's really, 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 really nice. I gotta say, uh, also a little bit blue, uh, white down on here. A really nice shirt, I have to say. Uh, Macron does, even for small teams, really nice things. Uh, Eddie, thanks so much for this shirt. This is really, really cool. I know I wanted to have a Queen of the South shirt. Um, I told you that you're sending this, did this to me. I am really, really touched. Thank you so much for that. That's it, guys, for part no now number one. I, I am a bit speechless because, you know, whenever you get a free shirt, it's not something I will, will expect. And this is a shirt that I can actually imagine wearing quite, quite a bit. So really, really cool. And yeah, there are two other shirts that I want to show you uh, shortly in another video. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.